Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you to those of you joining us from around the world for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Lauren Ashburn. President Donald Trump says the United States will come to the aid of Christians who are being persecuted in the Middle East. His comments came during a reception last night at the White House for a select group of media. And our executive producer, Susie Pinto, was there. She joins us from the White House. Good evening, Susie. Good evening, Lauren. What started out as an off-the-record reception with President Trump turned into an intense on-the-record briefing. President Trump touted what he says is a long list of accomplishments in his first 100 days, citing Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch and his many executive orders. But what caught our attention was his answer to my question about Christians in the Middle East. I explained to him that EW10 viewers have been energized by him since he is paying attention to issues that are important to Christians and people of faith. One of those issues I told him is the persecution of Christians in the Middle East. I explained to the president that we just came back from northern Iraq. Christians there are on the verge of extinction, and the few Christians that are left are struggling to rebuild after ISIS destroyed their towns. My question to the president was this, will the U.S. give aid to Christians in Iraq? President Trump was quick with his answer. He said he is a Christian. The president went on to say that what's happening to Christians in countries like Iraq and Syria is terrible. He says nobody has been treated worse in the Middle East. The president added he's going to be helping Christians big league. That, of course, one of his signature expressions. The president sounded engaged and committed to Christians in the region who are at a crossroads. The Archdiocese of Erbil says there used to be over one million Christians in Iraq. That number is now estimated to be between 100 and 200,000. Archbishop Warda of Erbil, who's caring for 10,000 refugee families, says Christians need more than humanitarian assistance. They need Western governments to push Middle Eastern countries to protect religious minorities. We need also the voice of the church and the Christians to put political pressure on, on the concerned governments so they could really ta uh, always remember uh, when, when they have any discussion with any of these Arab countries in the Middle East that to, to tell them what you are doing for the Christians, for the minorities. It's important. Lauren, so Archbishop Warda asking Americans to pray, but also he's asking us to come up with concrete solutions to help his people. And Susie, when you and I were there, we heard over and over again that we need the money. They said we need money to rebuild. You saw, we saw the towns of Batnaya flattened. Ninety percent of it is flattened. Do you think, based on your conversation last night with President Trump, that he and the administration will follow through with aid money? Well, Lauren, it remains to be seen what that aid, the, what, if the president will follow through with aid and what form that comes in, whether that will be uh, a package of actual concrete money through Congress or it, it will be humanitarian uh, help and shelter. But uh, we're going to keep on asking this administration this question. We're going to keep pushing the issue because Christians are the single widely most persecuted group in the world, according to scholars and activists. All right, Susie Pinto. Excellent work getting the president to talk with you last night. Thank you.